Ah, the moment we have all been waiting for, my friends. The first week of cutting. I cannot tell you how excited I am to bring you all my tips and tricks. This is a series that will go down in history. Welcome to the first week of Revealing Vegan Hercules. All right, I want to talk to you guys about the split that I'm running. Uh, I was doing low high low, which is chest and shoulders, back by and try, and then a leg day and then repeat, but I've actually switched my split up a little bit, so I'm doing more of just like a typical bro split, which includes uh, a back and by day, a chest and try day, and then a leg day. You'll notice there's not a shoulder work in there because uh, my shoulder's actually pretty messed up. If you've been following the channel, the series for a while, you kind of know this, my shoulder's had some issues, so I'm having to do all things under the shoulder in terms of like rowing and benching and stuff. So I'm getting shoulder work in by doing chest work, and I'm getting my front delt, and then when I'm doing back, I'm hitting my rear delt, and I've already kind of overdeveloped my delt in the last like five, six years, so luckily I can kind of coast on that until the injury is better, but I'm having to kind of manipulate my workout like that. A lot of people are always concerned with like how many reps and what kind of like scheme you're doing with your, your workouts. I generally like to do one or two maybe three strength sets in the beginning of my workout just to kind of like preserve my strength. And that's kind of important when you're cutting because like uh, I feel like your strength is the first thing to go. And when your strength goes, the weights that you're able to use for higher rep sets goes lower. And then obviously you're using like a lot, lot lighter weight than you possibly could be. And then for the rest of my workout after my strength sets, I'll just do all hypertrophy sets. So that's always, uh, you know, at least 10 reps, but usually like 12 to 16 reps. Uh, and it's like, mostly volume based. I'm just trying to keep my size, preserve my size while I'm losing body fat and doing cardio and whatnot. So higher reps for my entire prep. So my friends, this is the second to the last meal that I have. I have two Chipotle burritos here and pro tip, saute them in the frying pan. Also, just because I want it and because nothing else is vegan at Panda Express, I have gotten myself a large side of chow mein. A warrior's meal, no doubt. So my friends, as you know, the bulk is coming to an end this weekend and you're seeing this on Wednesday. So this is the last big meal I get to have. Three super bowls of pho, so much carbs. And then to finally top it off, we got some Chunky Monkey, the new vegan Ben and Jerry's. That is how you do a man meal. All right, my friends, you are now in the second half of the week where I have switched over to my cutting meals. Now, my cutting meals aren't exactly going to change the types of food I'm eating, just the quantities I'm eating. I'm gonna be counting the calories and my macros. Basically, what we have here is some scrambled tofu, and if you guys want me to put the recipe up in like my next full day eating or something, I definitely will. It is so freaking good. With a little bit of diet cheese sprinkled in there to really imitate eggs. Uh, then we got a little bit of leftover tofurkey pieces and a bunch of spinach sauteed as well as green beans, like a ton of them. They're like hidden, because I'm a man. Okay, you guys know the unwritten one trip grocery bag walk-in, right? Where you have to take all your groceries in in one walk, right? Well, I'm the same way with dishes, so I have to fit all of my food into one dish. So I really, really compacted in here. So I got a bunch of brown rice too, it's also kind of squished in there. But this is calculated to be 650 calories, and man, am I ready to eat this after a hard ass leg day. friends, I've just finished my workout and I want to speak to you about what kind of music I listen to. No, but seriously, you guys have been asking me in my comment section uh, what kind of music I listen to and I listen mostly to hip hop, rap, and a lot of the old school stuff, but here's my, my playlist of what I'm playing right now, but I will say the things I play the most at the moment are Adrenaline Rush by Obi Trice, a little bit of the Eminem new stuff like Brainless and Buffalo Bill and stuff like that, uh, but the other song that I'm rotating really heavily is Love Me by 50 Cent, Eminem, and Obi Trice, seriously such a dark, grimace painful song, it's so dope. This song right here, Everyone Bleeds Now. Now this is not for kids. This is not for you to play with your kids around you or anything. This song is extremely violent and uh, really it's for like those lifts where you're having to go super heavy. It just starts off with, Everybody it bleeds now, dun, 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 and then it goes in this crazy riff. The last 45 seconds of that song are literally bloody murder. I listen to that whenever I need to go crazy high reps or anything like that. Um, other than that though, it is mostly just rap and whatnot. It G Ma is a fantastic song. Cell Booming by Father is a fantastic song. And I would say last but not least is Work Remix by ASAP Ferg. Put it in work. Put it in the dirt. There you have it guys. Download some of those tracks I just mentioned and let me know what you guys think in next week's video and also let me know what else you'd like to see in these Hercules episodes. 
What's up you guys? My name is John, or Obese to Beast as a lot of you know me as. Uh, so this is going to be my first ever competition. So I'm really excited, but I'm also pretty, pretty lost. So luckily I have Brian that's been helping me with a ton of stuff. So um, I'm going to be starting to cut. So I'm 205 pounds right now. Um, and I'm thinking, we, me and Brian have talked, I kind of want to get down to 180 and then we'll see where I am there. Uh, I'm starting cal calories right now is 2900 at the beginning of this cut and then you know we'll kind of just see where I need to go from there. But yeah, Brian's helping me a ton. I want to, I just really want to make sure that I can conserve as much strength as I can during this cut, but um, that's not my main focus. My main focus is, you know, conserve as much muscle as possible. So um, that's what I'm working with. I'm really, really excited. I'm 100% definitely nervous um, for the show. Uh, just because I've never done it before, but uh, Brian's kind of, you know, talked to me, he said it's nothing to worry about, so I am extremely excited, I've never, you know, been in like a prep mode like this, so it's been really nice, you know, bulking for nine months, you know, going from someone that was obese, you know, eating everything in the world, and then bulking for nine months, trying to put on size, but not in a crazy way, um, and then now getting to the cutting phase, it just, it feels like I'm in a, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of more focused again um, for a certain goal, so I'm really excited. Hey, why don't you, why don't you come a little bit, why don't you come a little closer? I mean, come on, come on in. Come on in here real quick. Let me update you guys. What's up beautiful people of Team BTW? This week LP is coming in at 204.8 pounds, which is like so close to 205 pounds, which is only five pounds away from the 210 pounds that I wanted on this bulk. We're gonna take what we can get. Now this week is the week that I'm supposed to start cutting and Brian is gonna be the person that's coaching me actually and yesterday was the day that he actually informed me that I have to start cutting. Now, I didn't know that this was coming. Uh, I would have done my grocery shopping a whole lot differently if I would have known that this was coming so soon. So this week what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically eat off all of that terrible food that I bought on the last grocery trip and then reset the next grocery trip which is probably gonna be this weekend or within the next like two to three days or something like that. Now I am adding in cardio. I'm adding in about 15 to 20 minutes of cardio every single day now with every single workout. Now I thought it was gonna be terrible my first time doing cardio and getting back into doing cardio and doing stairs and all that stuff, but actually the first time doing it for 15 minutes, it wasn't that bad. I got really sweaty and I was like out of breath, but it was kind of like nothing new to me. Now another thing that I have to change is I have to change my calorie counting technique because right now on this bulk it has been completely sloppy. I can kind of do whatever I want. I can take in as much food as I want. It doesn't really matter. This thing is like a furnace just always hungry all the time now, it's insane. So calorie counting is gonna be extremely crucial for me and I'm gonna be starting off at about 3,000 calories a day when I start the cut. Right now I'm just kinda of adding in cardio to acclimate myself to doing cardio, and starting to get things moving and then in a couple days I'm gonna to move to eating really clean food. Why don't you sexy people, I will see you sometime soon on this channel. Back to Brian. So hopefully you just heard from my brother LP and also the Beast himself. They're all going to be competing with me on June 11th at that men's physique competition in San Diego. And they're also all uploading uh, an episode every single week so you can like follow their progress and whatnot. So please go check out the channels. The links will be in the description below. So basically this is how the week went. Up to Sunday, I was still bulking, right? Because I'm starting cutting on Monday. So I had like a half week where I was bulking and finishing it out really and like kind of getting my last foods in. And then I've had this half week where I'm cutting and whatnot. So for the last two days, I felt really good in terms of like the calories. I'm going to bed and I'm just like just a little bit hungry and then I drink some water, I go to bed, no big deal. So I know that my maintenance is is about right. Like what I'm eating right now is just about right with 3,200 calories. You guys can follow me on my fitness pal by the way if you'd like to. I'm updating it not every single day but I'll be using it for a lot of my preps so you can follow me. It is Humorous Fitness. The name will be right here on the screen so you can follow me. Yeah but I'm feeling solid like doing the cardio feels great. It's like coming back to an old friend. I'm like oh hey Stairmaster. How are you? It has been so long. I don't know why that's the accent that I relate to Stairmaster, but that's that's what I think. Anyways, but it's it's <laughs> like I said, I'm doing 15 minutes to start out this first week, then I'll probably up it to 20 on the second week, and then from there we'll be continuously staggering up in amount of time. While I was working out today, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, dang, all right, like I've already lost a lot of my water bloat and I'm already seeing like that I'm looking a lot bigger just by doing a little bit of cardio, getting a little bit of the water off and eating a little bit less sodium full foods because that's what really bloats me is when I eat sodium, it's like it holds water everywhere. So I'm thinking that in a couple of weeks, like you're gonna see massive differences. I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm excited the fact that I've been able to put on size throughout this bulk and then I actually do have some good size to 
show once I cut off all the fat. One thing that I and I know the rest of the guys all need to work on is our posing. Like that's gonna be one of the biggest things. So from this point on, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way that we can make this happen, but I wanna do at least like one session a week together. Hopefully it'll work, not really sure if it will, but one session a week where we all go to the gym, work out, and then afterwards we just take 30, 40 minutes to just sit there and pose. We watch each other, we take video of each other, and then we critique it and keep trying to do better and better and just try to get that into the back of our minds, like how to pose, make it second nature. So you just do it and do it and do it. But I will say I'm not a good poser. I'm a terrible man's physique poser. I'm a semi-decent bodybuilding poser, but yeah, posing is just definitely not my strong suit. So that's something we're definitely gonna have to work on as we go. But that's it for this week, guys. I'm really trying to stuff tips and tricks and like advice and all this stuff into the episodes. I've already got things in my head up here that I wanna talk about. Like next week, I wanna talk about some water things and a couple other like diet tips and whatnot. So if you guys have anything you wanna put in here, if you have any suggestions, anything, seriously, anything you'd like to see in these episodes as they come, please leave it in the comments below. It helps me so, so much. But other than that, next week is the first full week of cutting. We're gonna be dropping the calories a little bit. I'm freaking super excited. Can't wait to show you guys what's gonna happen. Hopefully it's a good week of training, but we'll find out on the next episode of Awakening Hercules.